Welcome to this RapidMiner introduction video. In this video we will give you some insights into the enormous amount of options for data transformation within RapidMiner. As always we start with a simple dataset, in this case consisting of a set of 60,000 transactions described by the ID of the purchased item, the amount and the custom ID. We start with the rotation of the dataset by summing up the total amount of each item for each of the customers. The custom ID is defined as group attribute and the item ID as index attribute. Again, the metadata transformation of RapidMiner helps us here and allows for the selection of the attributes from a selection list. This would not be too exciting if the process was already performed, but as you know the analysis process was never executed and the data is not loaded at all and still all necessary information are already available. We can take from the metadata that the resulting dataset is likely to contain missing values, since many customers will not have purchased all available items. Therefore we add the operator replace missing values and change its parameters so that it replaces the missing values by zero. In this case, this means that this item was not purchased by this customer at all. Checking the metadata again shows that the resulting data will not contain any missing values any longer. We could now aggregate the data, filter it or sort it, or perform many other of the built-in operations. However, for this sample process we will join additional customer information to the purchase behavior data we have created in this process. Afterwards, we keep all attributes but the name attribute. Since we aim at modeling, we assume that the name is not too important. Now we are going to add a modeling method like knife base. But in this case, the operator will not be able to work and RapidMiner directly complains, which is indicated by the red port and the entry in the problems view. A label attribute is missing and a RapidMiner quick fix exists, which can be applied by double clicking the quick fix field in the table or with a right click on the corresponding port. In this case, we simply select the total purchase amount of item 1 as label and want to predict this from the other amounts as well as from other attributes like the joint zip code. A mod like this one can be used for cross selling A new operator was automatically added, but RapidMiner still complains. For knife base, the label must not be numerical. Another quick fix adds a discretization operator and the process can finally be executed. It seems that the amount of item 7 has a certain influence on item 1. Information like those can be used for optimizing your sales.